I'm just sitting here at Mount Rainier looking through these Polaroids of a movie we made in 2019, and this is the oral history of Smile. So Smile was a screenplay that Rajiv and I wrote many, many years ago in L.A. with our friend Gareth Reynolds in mind. Um, we'd worked with him in Precious Meadows in the room, and he had such chemistry with Ravi Patel that uh, we wanted Ravi to play the best friend and Edie Patterson from The Groundlings uh, to play the woman that comes into their life who spends her life in a wheelchair. And so we did an actual read-through I believe at our manager Cherie's office and it really was just for you know to get a sense of it and it went well I think the screenplay got sent over to Fox Searchlight I know they gave us some notes on it and then of course as all things do it just fizzled away and never got made so many years later in the Midwest I decided that I wanted to finally make this feature and we did kind of a racial mix-up of the cast. Uh, the lead would be an African-American, the gay best friend would be Caucasian, and the girl in the wheelchair would be South Asian. I had always had a dream of filming at Dutch Village. Ever since I was a kid, we would go there for field trips. It's kind of like a theme park, a small theme park with a lot of animals in West Michigan. I guess I always wanted to film in there because it felt like a set of a movie. So to grow up, and get to film there in January of 2019. I didn't even think I would live to see the year 2019. I definitely didn't even think I was gonna reach my 40s because writers notoriously die young. As you can see, I really relate to the character of Lucas. Uh, and Raymond Roberson was a total star that had been in several projects before this and I knew I wanted to get him as a lead in a feature before he moved away to Atlanta. I really felt like he brought my personality to life since I really saw myself in his role of Lucas. Preeti very much has the same personality as my best friend Jana, although Jana does not spend her life in a wheelchair and sell coffee. But I knew Preeti had to play Priya. Fun fact, in real life Preeti is a doctor, so to get her to be able to take a week off her schedule as a doctor and come join us to star in a movie was a uh, I was very grateful. My best memories are driving from St. Louis to Holland in January of 2019 with Raymond and Preeti and that wheelchair and that coffee machine in the back of my car. And of course, Brett, who had flown in from LA to do the cinematography on this. And boy, does he do a gorgeous job filming all this snow in Michigan. It was so great to shoot in actual snow. I can't stand fake Hollywood snow made out of cornflakes. Unfortunately, I had to miss my grandma's 90th birthday party, which was happening in Michigan at the exact same time. I got some guilt for that. We shot on Lake Michigan. We shot a sledding scene and a romantic conversation in the snow. Not unlike the summer romantic scene in the inner tubes on the lake, I guess I really love an outdoor date scene. So here's a fun fact about that scene. It was eight degrees on Lake Michigan, um, and it was so cold, the AA batteries in our microphones, uh, our lavalier microphones froze, and they wouldn't power up. And I got a little panicky till I remembered everybody had a cell phone. So they recorded sound, somehow cell phone batteries worked. They recorded sound, the actors on their cell phones, which were in the pockets of their coats. And of course that sound was not usable later. We had to loop and ADR all the sound back in St. Louis um, weeks later, but at least it gave us some reference for what we were shooting. I was just so grateful that the battery for the camera at least worked. I had to get on the action and slide down the hill with Preeti on that sled. It would not be the first time I slid down the snow on dunes in Michigan since I grew up there. So after filming on the lake, we would go back to Jana's house and Jana is of Dutch heritage, so she became known as the Dutch Angel on set because uh, this angel always had treats for us and warm baked goods waiting for us after a long day of filming outside. Fun fact, the large wooden shoe that we filmed at in Holland, Michigan at Dutch Village, the inside of it was actually back in my basement in Farmington, Missouri because those scenes involved Jonathan Mitchell, who wasn't in Michigan with us. So through the magic of Hollywood, I guess, um, we, filmed, um, we filmed the inside weeks later down in Missouri. 
there is nobody better than Jonathan Mitchell at comedy, and I'm so glad he came up for that. I so wish Rajiv would have been able to be on set to watch these characters and this story that he developed um, come to life with me because it was a great shoot. The actors absolutely inhabited their roles. I mean, they really felt like they were their characters, at least to me. We also filmed in a nightclub in St. Louis uh, at a huge candy store next to the Fox Theater. Delisa Richardson and Frederick Powers rounded out the main cast of five. Rolanda Ledbetter and Joanne Collins played his uh, aunt and his mother, which really rounded out Lucas's backstory. Preeti and her parents and her brother-in-law and her sister all came to play her family members in the movie. We did that many months later because I wanted to add more about her family life. And my friend Dana was nice enough to let us film in her house. I mean, I have to say all the cast really gelled beautifully. Ray and I really reworked a lot of the dialogue in post-production because it was just really hard trying to figure out the closing lines of the movie. And I really wanted to work with this actor to get his input on how this movie might end. And after about five different attempts we probably made, I think we finally landed the plane. We screened at the St. Louis Filmmaker Showcase on a hot day on July 20th, 2019, and the audience totally tracked with this film, which is why this screening was my favorite one ever, even though it was so hot at Webster University where this first screened. Um, the crowd just laughed, not only laughed at the jokes, but they also like audibly responded before a turn in the plot or if somebody said something they shouldn't say, there was like a reaction like, no, don't say that. You know, there was a response of, I, I couldn't get over it. I, it was, truly, I was, normally I'm very nervous and I, sometimes I don't even sit in a screening because I don't want to sit there um, and um, feel that people feel my presence in the room. So I just get out of there. But I'm so glad I sat through this one because it was the most rewarding screening ever. It went so well that we were asked to come back for the International Film Festival in St. Louis in November, which was a huge honor. And then we played at the South Asian Film Festival in Chicago. Unfortunately, our festival run kind of hit the skids in 2020 when COVID-19 hit. I love everybody who worked on the project. And the crew is Brett coming in from LA. There's Brett. Brett in the back of my light blue van. Michelle Hall was a producer on our film. Thank you, Michelle, for all your work on this project. I hope the audience enjoys this on Amazon Prime. It's really probably in my top three films I've made. And I just love everybody who was a part of the team. We all came together to tell this story.